Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a login using Facebook link that you can add to your website and have your visitors log into your website using their Facebook account. So to get started, you're going to open up your terminal, CD into your web directory, and download the Facebook Graph SDK. Now for this video, I'm using the version 5.6.1. Um, for any other future versions later than this this one, um, the code may or may not work because Facebook might change the functions. So I'm going to add a link on the description that will allow you to check um, if anything changes and you can just use the documentation to change. Or you guys can just use the same version I'm showing you on this tutorial. So once you guys have this installed, you're going to log into your Facebook account and once you're logged in, you're going to go to developers.facebook.com and uh, let me just come out of this page. So you can actually see this page over here and under my apps, you're going to add a new app, give it a name and that uh, you're going to create a new app. So I already created an app for this video. I'm going to select it right over here. And after you created an app, you go to your dashboard and it's going to give you your app ID and the app secret. So I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do with the app ID and the app secret. So let me just put in my password over here. All right, so I have my app secret and I'm going to uh, go to, okay, so you're going to go to your IDE, your editor, and I'm going to go over here and, um, okay, so now you're going to create a file. I already, I already have a file created called Facebook login. It's a blank PHP file and um, I'm going to just make sure that I specify the right path because we're going to use that link for the redirect. All right, so let's go to um, over here and let's go to HTTP uh, localhost sign in Facebook. Is it sign in or login? Let me see here. It's actually login. Okay, login, Facebook login.php. PHP, and it's supposed to be a blank page. Okay, great. All right, so now that the path, the URL is working, um, we now go on to creating the actual code. So I already have the code written. I'm going to just copy and paste it into steps. So over here we have four steps. All right, so we're going to first start out by copying this. Now I have the source code on the description so you guys can use the source code that I included with this video. So I'm going to just copy this over here. So we're going to require the auto load, um, the session start. And uh, I'm not sure what this is over here. Um, I just had an issue when logging in and somebody on, um, on GitHub mentioned that you have to set the session for it to work properly. So this code does this magic, does the magic. Um, all right, so now step number one is to enter the credentials that we just saw on the dashboard. So we're going to go back here and copy the app ID and then the app secret over here. And then we're using version 2.10. So this version matches the version over here as has to be the same version. All right. And um, now that we got that out of the way, the second step is going to create the login URL. So I'm going to copy that over here and just walk you through it. So we're just pretty much echoing out an href. We're using Facebook's function called get redirect login helper to get a login URL. And in the parameter, we're just passing in um, the redirect URL. So the redirect URL, it's actually incorrect. It's gonna be Facebook, I mean, localhost login, um, Facebook login the PHP. All right, so it's going to be the same. It's going to be this URL over here. So it's going to redirect back to this page. So once the user has been authenticated by Facebook, fa um, the, Facebook is going to redirect the user back to this page. And it's pretty much what page you specify. All right, so we're specifying this page. So once the user has been logged in, they're going to get redirected back to this page. All right, so step number three is going to be to get the access token over here. So we're going to just copy this code over here and paste that over here. All right. So when the user has been authenticated and the page has been redirected, Facebook is going to provide 
an authorization code and this function is going to get that authorization code and create an, an access token for you and once the access token has been set um, we're going to get a response and then the response from the response we can we're going to use a function called get graph user and from there we can get all sorts of things we can get the name or you can just simply just redirect the user to whatever section on your website um, they go to after they have been authenticated so we got that out of the way and um, let's just you know what let's just uh, see how this works so let's just refresh the page and see if we have that login okay so we do have that login and everything is working here okay cool so I'm gonna click on this link and it says the domain of the URL isn't included on the apps domain okay so this means that I haven't yet specified a local host on the on the settings uh, so let's go to settings okay so uh, so this is what they're saying so I haven't included local host so I'm gonna type in local host on settings and then um, on the platform we have to add a website as a platform because we're using the login for our website and we have to also enter the site of the URL so let me uh, go back before the error came okay so I'm gonna copy this this is the website URL and uh, put that right over here okay and then I'm going to click on save changes all right so let's try that one more time oh and also I do want to let you know that you have you would need to enter a terms of service URL um, if you don't Facebook will not allow you to make your app go public um, you do need to have a terms of service URL so make sure you you add that you enter that now I'm going to try this again and now it says app for YouTube video which is the name that I entered um, which is the the project name app for YouTube video um, will receive your public profile so I hit continue and now it's redirect redirecting me back to the redirect URL and as you can see over here I echoed out the name my Facebook name which is WP hire and that's it there you go that's how you create a, a Facebook login link in four easy steps